my name is Michael Moraz and this is my wife Christina and congratulations you made it to the last marriage conversation of the year uh, we're right around the holiday and we are going to be talking about what does it mean to celebrate holidays with extended family and what are your traditions uh, and what does your family hold sacred and maybe you're in the throes of figuring out your family traditions we have gone all over the map with family traditions we have done the first couple of years was we have to hit every single place and spend like literally an hour at every single place because we don't want to get anyone upset we've got to make it to every place and we were stressed out we were burnt out we were exhausted we did not have any fun we did not even get to really talk to anybody because we were like when's the next time we leave to the next space and um, so we were like not doing that again we will not do that again. And then we started to have kids and we're like, okay, what are our own traditions? And we wrestled with that a lot. We wrestled with his family has some really traditions that have stuck for years. I mean, 30 years or more, this has been a family tradition. And it was really hard to say, sorry, we're gonna, we're gonna be the one family that's going to break that family tradition. But we knew it was important for us as our own unique family group to have that. So we had to have the hard conversation. He had to have the hard conversation, yeah. let's be real. <laughs> he is his, his, his side. He had to have the hard conversation. And we said, can we work around it? Can we plan a different day? And we said, if we do it a different time, we can do an extended period of time. So instead of it being 30 minutes, we're rushed or an hour or whatever, we now can spend a whole day with them. But we had to ask if people would bend, if they would bend, and they did. And they were really kind about that. And we're super grateful. Um, I, you know, let's just bring it back to kind of the beginning. You know, when you when you get married and you bring two families together, right? Like Christina said, each one has their own traditions. And, you know, there's going to be some contention between you and your spouse on, on where to go, what traditions to follow. We got to go to my grandma's house because I've been doing it for the last 30 years or vice versa, right? And, you know, that can create a wedge in your marriage dur sure. during the holiday, right? During Christmas time. And I think what happens is you almost lose sight of, of the yes. whole reason of Christmas, mm -hmm. right? Which is the birth of Jesus Christ and the Savior come in human form. And, you know, I think that, you know, the devil kind of uses yeah, for sure. That to drive a wedge in your marriage and and so just be aware of that, right? I mean, obviously there's going to be some give and take. There's going to have to be some flexibility on, on your own part, your spouse's part, your family's part. Um, but I think, you know, if you keep that in mind that the whole reason for the season, right? The cliche, yeah, the cliche, yeah. Is, is, is Jesus, um, you know, you can get through a lot. Yeah, and I think this also ties into, we talked about stress. So many people say they're so stressed out in the holidays and I think God's like, what the heck? Like, why are you guys so stressed out in the holiday? This is supposed to be a celebration. And so if you're stressed out, again, look at why. Are there, do you need to bake all the cookies, right? Like, if that's stressful to you, don't bake the cookies. Um, maybe, you know, have someone else wrap your presents. They're actually, I'm telling you, people who like to wrap presents, his dad is one of them who <laughs> likes to wrap presents. Find somebody who likes to wrap presents. But again, maybe there's things that you need to take off of your, your plate, off of your schedule, that they're just maybe not as important anymore. And are you again missing out on the true meaning of Christmas? Are you skipping again devotional times or praying with your family? Um, reading the story. Yeah, reading, reading the, the story Christmas because story, you're right? so you're so inundated with doing all of the Christmassy stuff that again your priorities have gotten a little bit out of skewed. So again, it's a conversation. <laughs> all of these have been it's a conversation of really looking at where is God want me to be obedient and does there are certain things that need to maybe go away off of our plate so that we can really honor Him um, in this holiday season. Yeah, so just like Christina said, take this time to talk with one another, talk with your spouse, and we just want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Yeah, and a good New Year. I think it's going to be a great year.